Okay, y'all. Hello, I'm back because I wanted to do a quick deep dive. I have a theory about something and it's probably not right, but this is just my theory and my thoughts. So I did remember the man's name. Y'all know Armand Wiggins. I could not remember his name for nothing. So Armand Wiggins used to be under the tutelage of Tasha Kay. You got Storm Monroe and you have that young lady. And then you have Von Ray was getting ready to be. So I think a lot of this anger toward Storm is coming from, in my opinion, I think Tasha Kay was really getting ready to branch off, create a management company. Like I said in another video, create a management company have a certain amount of people underneath her management company, get her 10% or whatever from the video proceeds and really create, um, what do you, a empire under that. Have this huge side management company, have the stars shining, doing pranks, doing all this crazy stuff. But we already know that that that's really was what was getting ready to happen. But for well, not for some reason, because Tasha also has said some real crazy stuff about Vaughn, too. But Storm is a special spotlight on him because Storm really is more of a star than Vaughn on YouTube. I'm not comparing people like who's a better person. No one's everybody's equal in this world. But I'm talking about better star power on consistency and presenting content. Storm is better. And I really think that she had planned on taking things pretty far with him and really creating a huge management company with these people underneath her. And it all just got ruined. And like I said in the other video, when it comes to managing people, I don't want to say her name is Mud. I'm not saying that, but... Who is going to, who with any decent following or content at this point is going to reach out to Tasha K after a, she could have recovered from Armand Wiggins, but after a Armand Wiggins, after this situation with Storm Monroe, after spewing and pooping on his name all over inter the internet publicly, Storm hadn't done it first. He's only, it only, he was only responding to what was being said about him. And then the things that were said about Von Ray, like we're not stupid. Well, a lot of people are stupid, but it's, it's some of us who are not stupid and we and we see what it is. And um, when all those relationships got ruined and the brand, the management brand that was getting ready to be built got ruined. Oh, I'm sure Miss Lady was extremely angry. But anyway, let me get back to my point. Who with a good following in a decent YouTube channel? in their right mind is going to go to Tasha K now to help them build their channel. Not anybody with a decent brand or not, because you've now seen she just let her anger get the best of her. But you've now seen what happens to people who things don't work out with, with her. You now clearly see what she'll do to you if you walk away. So who's going to get in bed with that? Nobody with any sense, nobody who has a good channel already solidified is going to get themselves tied up with that. And I think Storm leaving really made all the cards and made the house fall on that company. She was going to, well, she has it, but branching into the management side. And I think a lot of anger is being, God, I keep forgetting to put that on Do Not Disturb. I think a lot of anger is being spewed her being spewed his way because of those plans falling apart. It's not his fault. He had a right to walk away and not be um, a part of that anymore because of some things behind the scenes going on and his reasons. People have a right to walk away, but not everybody responds well. I've been in situations on the job where when I decided to move on with my own life, Bosses can be extremely vindictive and get extremely angry, especially if you're good. They not all bosses take that well. And this is a perfect example. But I think that's where a lot of this is coming from. Just my theory. OK, bye.